It's a business idea that makes most people react with disbelief. Christina Kaina makes artificial lenses for pets. With the help of veterinary expertise, she developed the product for animals suffering from cataracts, mostly dogs and cats. The operation costs between 1,000 and 1,500 euros, money that some pet owners are happy to part with. I say a little provocatively, there's a grandmother and a dachshund waiting for a cataract operation. And in the United States, people tend to find it easier to decide in favor of the dachshund, because grandma's going to die anyway. We're market leaders in the U.S. We're very well established. People are far more prepared to have their pets operated on than in Europe, for example. In Europe, her business is having difficulty taking off. In Asia, by contrast, demand is high. Christina Kaina employs just over 50 staff. It's her fourth startup. She's already sold two at a profit. Kaina started off making lenses for people. A research chemist by profession, she didn't have much experience in business. Her initial startup capital, 25,000 German marks. It was a very difficult time. Money was in very short supply. But back then, I have to say, bankers were rather more generous. I got loans even though I wasn't turning a profit. Kaina's company is based in Henningsdorf near Berlin. She came to the eastern German state of Brandenburg 20 years ago, drawn by the subsidies on offer. Hers was one of the first new businesses here. The proximity to the capital was important to her too. She's more likely to meet investors at events such as the biotechnology conference Bionale. This investor isn't interested. Kaina's company has a turnover of 5 million euros. That's too small for him. The critical size is 10 million. If you do a lot of R&D, then at some point you can't afford to fund it yourself, and then an investor can be very helpful. Back at the company, a team meeting is in progress. The topic under discussion, IT expenditure. It's too high in Kaina's view, and she asks for an explanation. In S&V Technologies, Kaina wants the staff to feel responsible for the company. But she also wants them to be able to talk frankly. Openness is important to her. If I really give the staff the feeling they have an important part to play in determining the company's success or its failure, then they work harder and it's more fun to come to work in the morning. You can't work efficiently if you arrive at work with the gut feeling, this stupid company, I can't wait till it's 5 p.m. Christina Kreina works 10 hours a day. She has no time for hobbies. In her spare time, she reads trade literature to keep abreast with the latest developments. Her next product? Dye for an artificial iris. 